this view is for the tympanic bulli. And we're going to put this dog in the same position we did for the frontal sinus. We're going to have the head perpendicular to the table, but we are going to have the mouth open in a V. So you're going to use the same taping technique that you did for frontal sinus. You're going to utilize your box. However, you're not going to go around the front of the nose. You will just go across the mandible. And I like to put my tape right on the canines if I can. Um, it gives you just a little bit more traction. And typically, most dogs will V out uh, naturally. If they don't and you need more open, you can tape and V them more this way. Your center will be at the back of the mouth. I try to position the endotracheal tube so that it's running down the center because it will interfere with your um, final x-ray in terms of being superimposed over the tympanic bulli. I do also like to stretch the tongue and if you need to incorporate that in tape, you can. You're gonna measure at the commissure of the lip. And of course, you're gonna come down to the end. You're gonna check for straightness. He is not, he's, he's tipped. That's better. So always check from the end. Okay, center at the back of the mouth. You get the width of the head and just from mandible to the top of